Hi YouTubers, about two to three years ago, I made Kit Kat molds. Over here, I'm showing you how to properly lay them out for measuring. Here, over there, you can see how much space is in between. They, these still have the wrappers on them. Two by five, which equals 10 Kit Kats total, measures 15 by nine and a half by one inch for the pans. Then you lay them out like that. Now you're going to have to measure a little extra to have a one inch thing that goes on top. So I'm not going to have the measurements in the description because I don't want you attempting this. Then what I did was I glued them using corn syrup and ch melted chocolate after I glued them down. Then what I did was I poured silicone inside these molds and to make three and a half molds you need a bucket you need 11 pound bucket of silicone one of those then after I peeled off the molds then I have to clean them so I peeled them off of the corrugated plastic and then after I cleaned the molds as you're about to to see. So now I cleaned the molds and used a knife to cut away the excess silicone in the Kit Kat molds and there we are. One of them made a four Kit Kat mold, three, the other and then, and then the and then three of them made 10 Kit Kat molds so I can make 34 Kit Kats at one time with this. This costed $150 including shipping for the 11 pounds bucket of silicone. Now, if you attempt to make silicone molds, please make sure your silicone is food grade because general purpose construction silicone, construction silicone from like Lowe's or Home Depot or Amazon is actually toxic. So when you're making molds, the silicone has to be food grade. Please don't make molds like this because in a future video, I will have a much better tutorial on how to make silicone molds. In the future tutorial, I will be taking a Kit Kat or a chocolate figure, surrounded in silicone putty, then 30 minutes later, I'll have a small tiny mold, then I'll fill that in with liquid plastic, food grade liquid plastic, then wait for that to harden, then repeat this process, and then use the liquid plastic figures instead of pouring silicone over chocolate. This way there won't be chocolate stuck in the mold and this way I'll have a permanent anti-mold. Anyways, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and stay tuned for a future video on how to make better Kit Kat molds and I'll be making so many different designs of Nestle Kit Kats in that video. So please stay tuned.